Hi there. This video shows two types of uh, uh, quick table calculations. One is year-over-year -year growth, and the second, year-to-date comparisons. Year-over-year -year growth means how much you have grown since the same period last year. And I'm going to show it right now. As a starting point, I have this simple report where I have uh, my years, and then I have the first three months of each year, and then I have my sales being showed. It could be any measure. In this case, is sales. If I want to convert these sales into year-over-year -year growth, what I do is I click on this pill on this arrow down, and then I choose quick table calculation. There are many options here. In our example, we're going to choose year-over-year -year growth. And that means how much I grew since, last, since the same period last year. Those are the numbers. Now, I always like to double check to see if the numbers are making sense of what I ex expected. So let's do that. I'm going to drag the amount sales back to my report. Now I have, again, amount sales and then the year-over-year -year growth as a percentage. And if you do now the calculation dividing, let's say, February 2014 by uh, February 2013, you'll see that the growth was 52.99%. So it will be correct. Okay, so that was the first one, year-over-year -year growth. What if I want to see year-to-date amount? Well, I can then use also quick table calculations. I'm going to take the sales amount without the triangle because the one with the triangle means is a quick table calculation. So I'm taking the original sales amount, clicking the arrow pointing down, choose again quick table calculation. In this example, I'm going to, I'm going to choose year-to-date total. So what happens is this column now is aggregating the sales amount month by month and resetting at the beginning of the next year, and then it, it aggregates month by month. So this is a year-to-date uh, amount for sales. Well, what if I want to see year-to-date growth? Well, what I do is I bring my sales back. So I'm going to drag, in this case, at the beginning. So I'll have my sales. And right now, again, you know, if you want to see if uh, it's doing year-to-date, you can add this up and see if it's matching with this column, and it will. But what I want to do, actually, is year-to-date growth since the same year-to-date period last year. And again, we're going to use table calculations. So I'm going to click again, the arrow down, choose quick table calculation, and in this example, year-to-date growth. And let me put this year-to-date growth at the very bottom. So you'll have this, which is relates to the year-to-date. And if I add back my sales to my report, I can check if the, all these numbers make sense. So this is the monthly sales. This is the growth since the same period last year on a month-to-month -month basis. This is year-to-date. And this is growth since last year-to-date. And that's how you do these two calculations. I hope you have found this video informative. Thank you for watching.